free the Cuban five. Send them home. Um. I also want to put in a word for Leonard Peltier and Mami Abu Jamal. Leonard Peltier has been in prison now, going on um, 33 years, <clears throat> and Mamiya has been in prison since 1981. These men must be freed, and we we also believe that there has to be an extremely huge and comprehensive and profound reform of the U.S. prison system. There are two million people in prison, the largest number in the world in absolute and relative terms. And when we go to these prisons to visit the Cuban Five, you can see what a huge loss uh, for all the men who are in prison. There's no chance for for the rehabilitation, they're not given opportunity, and when they come out, there's no jobs. And so we see a huge injustice when we go into these prisons, too. Um, I'd like to ask you, too, a couple of questions. Um, I'm, I'm Chris Lugo, <coughs> and uh, just conducting this interview. Um, Gloria and um, Rosa, uh, can you explain to me just to your typical American who might be watching this, why should they care about the Cuba Five? What does this have to do with um, with them and with uh, their lives? But um, you know, just just for the average person who maybe isn't aware of this situation, what's you know what what is what is it that they should you know be aware of? It's very uh, true that it's hard for people in the U.S. to understand the importance to them and the importance to all of us. But basically it's a question of human rights, social justice, of the right of people who were not only not committing a crime, but who were dedicated to saving lives regardless of their nationality, including Americans, that they don't belong in prison. And the other is that U.S. tax dollars, what we are paying out of our pockets, is being used to hold up a policy of aggression and hostility toward the people of Cuba. And we don't believe that the majority of this country, in, in our country, the United States, the vast majority of people in the polls are shown to be against the U.S. blockade of Cuba, against a hostile policy that pre prevents Americans from going to Cuba. It is U.S. law that makes it illegal for us to travel there. And yet the issue of terrorism that the U.S. government has financed against Cuba, 3,400 Cubans have died by the acts of terrorism that are based in Miami. And we are aware of terrorism from what the terrible tragedy that happened with 9-11. And people were very moved by that, of course. But what they don't know is that the Cuban people have also suffered from terrorism that's financed by our tax dollars. And that's why we say, if the people of our country knew what was happening with the Cuban Five and what's taken place all these 50 years since the Cuban Revolution in 1959, they wouldn't accept it. Um, and, and just on an economic basis, Cuba very much wants to purchase, buy food, building supplies to recover from the hurricanes that took place in Cuba this past year. And the U.S. blockade prohibits that. Americans are prohibited from traveling to see with our own eyes the society of Cuba and to make our own judgment about what we think about Cuba. Marissa, I have a question for you. Um, mm -hmm. I, if you could, I, I don't know if you can speak for Ramon or, or not. I'm just going to ask the question. Um, if, now, if Ramon were here sitting with us and we could actually talk to Ramon, what would he want the American people to know more than anything else? What, do you, what would he want to tell, you know, the, <clears throat> the American people about the situation in Cuba and about the Cuban Five? Well, Ramon will tell, will say, that, that Cuba is a very beautiful country. Uh, the people in Cuba are just beautiful as well, and they have a very just government. There is nothing wrong with the the political system running the country. And is uh, there is a true uh, social justice in Cuba. I mean, in Cuba, people are before any profit. Uh, the education in Cuba is free. 
healthcare is free. People own their own, the, the house where they, they're living in. I mean, there is no restriction for anybody there. Everybody is absolutely free to do what they, what they want to do, say what they want to say. And um, Cuba is, is not a paradise because there are still like you know a lot of a lot of things that cannot acquire uh, due to the embargo by the United States, which had done a lot of damage in that in the little country. And people should go, should travel to Cuba. There are ways to go to Cuba and see for themselves what Cuba really is. The problem is that the media here demonize the government of Cuba and the people of Cuba, which is not true. Cuba is a free country. It's the only free country in all Latin America right now. And um, of course there are other countries in Latin America that are following the path of Cuba. And we are happy that they, that, that is happening. And there will be more countries in Latin America that eventually will be free for the domination of uh, bigger powers. And about the Cuban Five, what would Ramon say about his fellow prisoners? He gave us a goodbye message at the end. The <clears throat> Ramon said that he is very grateful of everyone who supports them. Everyone who comes to know the case of the Cuban Five agrees that they had to be free and supports them. And um, Ramon and uh, Gerardo, Fernando, Antonio, and Rene, they are five. They are together like petals in one flower. They are together, still forever. And if uh, one or two are free, it doesn't matter how they how they um, go back home one by one or two or doesn't doesn't matter they are going to be five always forever and they are brothers that will never uh, abandon any one of them or any Cuban Cuba doesn't abandon their their, their sons or their daughters and um, Ramon is very proud of what he did and he said in a blink he will do it over and over and over again because they were saving lives, they were saving their country, protecting their country, protecting their people from uh, attacks, from people who have been attacking them and, uh, and they're publicly known that they are the terrorists like uh, Posada Carriles that Orlando Bosch, they, they are publicly known that they are terrorists, that they have said themselves. And, um, and they were, uh, the five were fighting against this terrorism and saving people, not only Cuban lives, but also American lives and others. So um, the five are very proud. I know that they are very proud of what they have done and they won't blink to do it all over again because they are committed to do good for humanity and uh, money is not an issue for them. Money has no value for them. Lives, well-being is, is what um, they are all about.